Hey guys, I'm Phil the Blanks, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario All Stars Super Mario Brothers 3. We're in World 7, the second to last world, and we're near the end there. Only got four more stages, and then the uh, the, the the airship, and then we're on to Dark World. Um, this is a great level. Everyone, I think, remembers this one. Uh, it's the last, like, um, I think it's the last, anyways. Uh, Starman chain in the game, except you actually need to do it because the entire level are these munchers here, so you do have to be super quick. There we go. And it's almost like Flappy Bird. This is Flappy Bird. From 1990, or whenever. And duck here, and that's it. That's the end. Oh, no, no, that's the end. I've met people who have had so much trouble with that level, and I don't really get it. I mean, it's not easy. It's not hard, though, either. It's, it's learn a pattern, I guess. You see something, you jump. I don't know, I've never had trouble with it. That's just me. Going to World 8. And I think World 8 is... Yes! World 8 is a level where I can get a Hammer Brothers suit. Um, I'd rather have a Hammer Brothers suit than a, a Tanuki suit. So I guess I'll be going with that. Plus, you guys have actually seen um, the secret message that the king gives you if you beat a an airship with the Tanuki suit. So you haven't seen what it does with the Hammer Brothers suit. So I'll try to do that. Whether or not I actually pull it off is a completely different thing. Um, crap, where do I go? Oh, what? Oh, uh, well, lost that. I think it's down here anyways. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, come here. Whee! I love the Hammer Brothers suit. It's great. Oh, oh. Careful when you kill Batuis here. Uh, I'm pretty sure those balls will still hurt you until they're off the screen. And careful these guys, when you approach them, they start shooting fire. Yeah, just like that. There we go. Boink, boink, boink. I think there's one more. Oh, no, okay. Thought there was one, like... Alright, so... This is actually the last... Uh, the last Toad House in the entire game. And I don't think it gives you anything special. Oh, never mind, it gives me Hammer Brothers, dude. I'm happy. Yep, so, so goodbye, Toad. Oh, I guess it won't be the last time we see him, because we'll see him um, in the castle going, Oh no, the king's been blah, 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 blah. Anyways, here is, uh, quite literally, a pipe maze. It's not very difficult to navigate. Um, but you do have to be careful of your time if you don't know where to go. Whee! That's not where I'm supposed to go, as you can see. Because you can see all the other... S oh, dang it. Oh. Well, whatever. I did just get one. I'll still use one of the airship anyway, see if I can do it. Anyways, go over here. And you could be try to be sneaky and be all like, I'm gonna skip everything. Haha, -ha, I'm so smart and get hit in the face. But of course you can't actually do that. So that's the pipe that leads to the end of the level. But uh I like how they they make it so that they you really think you can do it. Anyways, go down here. I think I'm going the right way. It's been quite a while. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Get this here. Go up, not down. Other places will, like, they'll bring in a bunch of coins and stuff, but who cares? Like, at this point of the game, you really don't want to give a shit about coins or your lives. Like, you, you don't want to have to be worrying about that stuff. You want to be all set, you know, to just go ahead and beat the game. Though, you know, the coins are right there. I might as well take them. There we go. 200 seconds left. Pretty good. Awesome. Now on to the hardest fortress in the game, uh, by far. At least I think it is. It is definitely not easy. Ugh, I wish I had my Hammer Brother suit right now. Just this first jump is like, eh. Ugh, oh, hate it. Hate it. Hate it. There we go. Eh. Eh. Why? Oh, really? I don't know why I think there's something in here. Oh, God. It doesn't matter. Boo. There we go. Okay. Oh, I hate this. Oh, nice. Can't believe I pulled that off. Oh, my goodness. So many terrible jumps here. I don't think you can go down any of these. Nah. Whatever. Uh, 
I'm doing good though. I'm doing really good. Okay. Nope. Um. Damn. Maybe I should have gotten that. Oh well. Whatever. Yeah. I like being able to like kill things before I reach them, which is probably more important than being able to fall. Cause my jumping skills are okay. I just need to be careful about enemies. Nice. Of course, there's still a bit more. But I think I think you can all agree that that is definitely the hardest. Oh my god. The hardest fortress in the game by far. Like, not even close to anything else. I think that's it, though. Yes. There we go. Ha. Huh, take that. And that is not the last uh, boom boom we'll see, but it's very close to the last one. And one last piranha plant. And then the last airship in the game. Oh, jeez. I get so impatient near the end of these games, but that's like my downfall. Oh, wait, woo. And then I start dying, because I get impatient at the at like the, the hardest levels, so. Oh wow, a mushroom. How freaking great. Awesome. Alright, so here it is, the last air uh, airship in the game. I'm gonna use my last suit in general, actually, Hammer Brother suit. I like this one because it's Yoshi. Yay, and it's like a kind of a crossover between uh, the Mario World Yoshi and Yoshi's Island Yoshi. I think that's kind of cool. That is the only um, animal or whatever that's in this version of the game that I approve of. Because it actually makes Yoshi, it, it like makes this uh, Yoshi's kind of first appearance. I guess in, in chronological order. Um, not in terms of release dates or anything. Oh my god. Uh, yes, okay. Down here is um, a... A raccoon suit? Or, yeah, raccoon if you need it. Okay. Come on. Just gotta be so careful. And, uh, the boss of this one, the last Koopaling, is Ludwig von, uh, Koopa. I almost said Ludwig von Bo uh, Beethoven. Um, like Roy, he is a heavy character, meaning when he jumps, uh, you should be jumping too, because he'll freeze you if you're on the ground. Boink, get away from me. Oh, dang it. Woo! Uh, okay. Nothing too difficult. Good. Oh, come on. There we go. And now it's a, it's a bunch of little, uh, little mini airships. This, this part's difficult. Not fun at all. Especially because there's rocky wrenches everywhere. Awesome. Alright, so I think I really need to get a new computer. I'm having a lot of trouble with my capture device this episode. Um, because it just... Crapped out on me again. Uh, needless to say, I died, though. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I won't be able to, uh, beat this level with the, uh, with the hammer suit, which is kind of a shame. But, um, whatever. You can go on YouTube and find out what, uh, what the kings say when you beat it with the frog suit and the hammer suit. Nothing really that big a deal. But that doesn't mean I think I'm out of suits, though. So that kind of sucks. But, whatever. Boink. At least now I'm free to get power-ups. Because I kind of wasn't before. There we are. Not that Fire Flower will help me that much. I'd much rather be able to, to fly. There we go. And this is, I think, where we were when I died anyways. There's a lot of little airships now. A lot of little tiny ones. Eh. Look at this. This is tiny. Why would you need an airship this small? And how's it flying? Unlike the other ones, it doesn't have any propellers. Almost there, though. Almost there. Eh. I think that's it. I think that's it. Nope. We're still going. Ugh. Oh, yeah. I remember this part. Eh. 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 There we go. That's gotta be the end now. Woo! Alright, let's take out Ludwig. Uh, oh. Damn it. Uh, whoa! Ah, oh, so he did freeze me there. Oh, nice. One more. There we go. 
Catch it in midair, and we are officially now on the last world of Super Mario Bros. 3. It's been a long journey, but we're almost there, guys. First we fall through the world, or down and back onto the world. I like this guy, Viking. Uh, so... Let's read our, our usual letter from the princess, see what she gives us this time. And, oh shit! Oh no! Okay, so obviously I knew that already, but... So, a twist. Um, Bowser has uh, kidnapped Princess Peach. Um, I guess that was a twist back then, though, to be honest. Because it wasn't established that every Mario game would have Princess Peach kidnapped. Cause it was only Mario 1, and then, like, Mario 2, you could play as her, so... Yeah, I guess this plot twist was kind of like a novel idea back in the day. Anyways, Dark World, or Dark Land, or... Oh, really? How did that hit me? Anyways, it's very different from all the other worlds. Um, there's very... There's only two regular levels in the entire thing. The rest are, like, specialized, kind of airship-style levels. This one, for example, is, like... It was a t it's a tank on the, the map screen, but it's like a... It's like Bowser's, like, military fleet, which is something that they'd actually revisit later on in Mario 3D Land and Mario 3D World, which is kind of cool to see. Nothing too difficult, but it's not fun that you pretty much don't get any power-ups, um, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty vulnerable right now. There we go. There is some, though. There's pretty few and far between, unlike new Mario games where there's, like, one every three feet. And all in all, you just gotta be careful, obviously. Boink. Boink. Oh, that was close. And nearing the end, I think. And here's the uh, the big cannon. I love this thing. Let's get the crap I did when I was a kid. Look at that thing. It's huge. And here is the end of the level. If I can reach the top, there we go. And at the bottom, we just have a boomerang brother. Boink. He's the commander of this little army. Kind of ridiculous when you get down to it. But whatever. He's dead. And uh, I love this one. The uh, the Navy fleet. You kind of think that, like, like why didn't uh, Bowser attack the, uh, the Mushroom Kingdom with this stuff? That was... Stupid idea. Oh, there we go. Um, oh darn. Like, he keeps this all, all this stuff in his own world instead of just using it and taking over the Mushroom Kingdom. I guess he actually does in uh, Mario Galaxy, the opening has him in the airship kind of invading, which is kind of cool. Nice. Um, by the way, if you don't feel like being gutsy like I am right now, you can actually just swim underneath all the ships. That's, uh... Cheap, but I mean, hey, it's there, right? So it's a fun little secret that you can pretty much skip the entire level. Because the water, um, while it does look like it, is not lava. It's just like kind of a muddy lo uh, muddy water. See? So you can just go in it like normal. There we go. Woo! And here's where it kind of gets annoying with that, uh, whoa. Mario 3 doesn't have any, uh, damn it. Yeah. Doesn't have any um, checkpoints, so you have to do everything over again. So I'll get back there. See you in a second, guys. There we go. So I did use the uh, the swim underneath the the ship trick there to get back to where I was. Might as well. No reason not to. And here we are at the end. Let's be super careful. Oh right, I always forget about that bomb. There we are. And at least we got boom boom this time instead of just a boomerang brother. Take him out right quick. He's dead. Go away. There we go. So, um, Dark World is a bunch of, like, connected maps through these pipes, which is kind of a cool idea. And, uh, because, um, the levels that we're, we're in aren't regular levels, they don't respawn if, uh, if you get game over. So there's not really a big shortcut or anything, um... Unless you make it through the entire thing. Whoa. 
Because there's only like two worlds, I think, that regenerate if you get game over. Mishka, stop that. <laughs> there we go. So these uh, three levels here are kind of different because uh, they randomly grab you. You can actually don't have to go in them. Um, so instead, you can actually just bypass them completely. But sometimes they'll grab you and they'll get you'll, you know, you'll get um, raccoon leaves. So might as well do them. They are like that. Kind of just creepily grabs you, which is really unsettling when you get down on it. Uh, get down to it. This place is pretty easy, though. Just kind of go fast. There, that was it. That was a level, if you want to call it that. Eh, there we go. At least you're getting stuff out of it, too, so it's not really a big deal. And the last one is also not... Oh, well, I'm going to have to do it anyway, so... This one's the Cheap Cheeps, I think? Yeah. Just a... Bleh. Very, very reminiscent of Mario 1. Oh, jeez. Nice. Ah, uh, oh, damn it. There we go. Still not difficult. I mean, uh, a superstar can get you pretty much through the entire thing. If you have one in your inventory. So, you know, use that if you need to. And this is uh, what is considered to be the hardest level in the game. Um, I'm going to try it once with a leaf. If I don't do it, I'm going to use a P-Wing. I know I can make it. I just want to bore you guys. Um, it's just an airship level with very tiny airships. And there's tons of them. And they're fast. And my raccoon is gone. But uh, let's see if I can make it anyways. It's definitely not an easy level. Most people complain that this is like... This is where they stopped playing when they were kids. They were just like, no, can't do it. Unless they had a P-Wing. They just... Everyone just use it here. I don't really blame them. It's the best use of a P-Wing in the entire game. Um, well, one of the best. I'm actually gonna probably use a P-Wing if I have any left. Um, on the last level, to show you kind of a fun Easter egg. Eh, come on. Whoa. Okay, down here. There we are. Almost there. Damn it. Oh, no. There we go. At least I made it. So you know, you guys know I can make it without the P-Wing, but let's see if I'll survive this guy. Boom, boom. And this one flies if you let it. Don't let it. There we go. There we are. Take that, sucker. There we are. So uh, I'm going to cut the, sh the uh, episode a little short now, just so that we can uh, not have an incredibly short episode uh, next time. Because next time we will beat Mario 3. And I hope you guys will join me. I'm Phil in the Blanks, and see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario All-Stars, Super Mario Bros. 3. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, check out my other content on my YouTube channel, where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games. See ya!